So I've been taking you through the process of my mid journey coloring books and I've created quite a few videos on it. However, I just wanted to highlight a few concerning things that if you are doing this, then you are risking your account. So the first thing I want to talk about is infringing on copyright and trademark. Now, if we take a look at Amazon's legal and content guidelines, we can see here that it states that you hold the publishing rights to any content you upload for sale on Amazon. Then it says that uploading or attempting to upload any content for which you do not have the rights can result in the rejection or removal of your book negative impact to your account status and or loss of royalties. So Amazon takes this very seriously and you need to make sure that you also read this information so that you understand what you can and what you cannot upload to Amazon and that you shouldn't be relying on anybody else. So if we scroll a little bit further down, it does explain for those who don't understand copyright and trademark. So it simply explains here, a copyright protects original work of authorship, such as videos, movies, songs, books, musicals, video games, paintings, etc. Then it says, if someone is the author of an original work, then they typically own the copyright in that work. And for a trademark, it explains that a trademark is the word, symbol or design, such as a stylized brand name or logo that a company uses to identify its goods or services and to distinguish them from other companies' goods and services. So it's basically a trademark indicates a source of goods or services. Now to understand this a little bit better, let's go and take a look through Amazon quickly at a few coloring books. And for example, on the right, we can see this Pokemon coloring book. If we continue to scroll further down, we can see things such as Super Mario. We can see on the right hand side, 19 cartoons, a stoner coloring book with a lot of different, with a lot of famous different characters. And whether this was created in mid journey or not is something that shouldn't be done. And ideally what you have to be asking yourself is, Am I the original owner of this? Is this my own idea or am I copying it from TVs, movies, series, etc.? And that's how we have to think about copyright. And if you want to check if a specific term is a trademark, then you can search the trademark office for the relevant country. For example, in the USA, you can use the United States Patent and Trademark Office, USPTO. Then we can just click on here wait until this page loads up. Then we need to go to basic word mark search. We click on that, make sure it's on live, type in our term Pokemon and then click submit query. So we've had quite a few results come back, but to save us going through individually every single one and having a look through, we can take a look at the right hand side in the grid for classes. And if we look for 016, this stands for books, meaning we'll not be able to use that for our own book. And if we quickly take a click and have a look, we can see that it says book covers, calendars, coloring books, comic books, and much more. More. So it's only a matter of time before that Pokemon coloring book is taken down by Amazon. So the next thing I want to talk about is copying others. Now on my channel, I have been documenting the process of how to create your own mid journey coloring books and sell on Amazon. And unfortunately, when you do things like this, there are always going to be a minority of copycats that don't really want to put in any effort in and just want to copy a book that's doing well. And you're going to find that when you have a book that's doing really well on Amazon. And I'm definitely glad that people have been inspired. But if you really want to make money with Amazon KDP, then copying isn't going to get you far. You really need to think about the ideas and strategies that I talk about and then create your own unique designs that is going to help you stand out amongst the crowd. If we take a look at these two books, you can see mine has a lot more reviews. It's the first book that you'll see on the first page after the ads for this keyword. And I believe my cover design is better. So in the long run, that book might get a few sales here and there, but mine will do better. Now, what I'm not saying is that you shouldn't create a book in this niche. I know there are a lot of new beginners in this space, but make sure that you create something that's better than mine. Don't just copy it. And if you do feel that someone has copied your design, you can actually report them. So we see here that Amazon respects the intellectual property of others. If you believe your work has been copied in a way that constitutes copyright infringement, please follow the notice and procedure for the Amazon site where you identify the infringement and you just click on it and follow the process. The next thing I want to talk about is regarding blurry images. And in Amazon's content guidelines it actually states here that the books for sale on Amazon should provide a positive customer experience. And then further down, it says we also do not allow content that's typically disappointing to customers. So if we take a look at this review that a customer left for an AI coloring book, 
you can see that the customer wasn't too happy that the pictures were over pixelated and blurry, that it does look a lot better on the mobile phone. However, once the images are actually printed and the customer receive this, then it can come out a little bit blurry. And I actually talk about this in this video where I was reviewing my OWL coloring book. And this is why I so often talk about further upscaling your images using bigjpg.com or turning them into a vector as it just improves the resolution and the detail in the image so that the customer can have a good coloring experience. And that's what should be the main priority. So if we take a look at both of these images on the left and the right hand side, on the left we have the image from Mid Journey and on the right hand side it's been upscaled by BigJPG.com. So as soon as we start to get closer we can see that the Mid Journey image loses detail but on the right hand side we can still see the intricate details of the image and it really keeps its quality. So yes there is a very small cost to using BigJPG.com but it is very affordable but I highly recommend it to ensure you're creating quality colouring books. The final point that I want to talk about is darker images. Again, we don't want to provide a poor customer experience. And you see these reviews that the customers were really not happy about their coloring pages, that there were so many areas that they weren't able to color in. And the issue is that Mid Journey can sometimes produce these darker images. However, you can make adjustments using whatever software you want. In this instance, I'm going to show you using BookBolt. If we take a look at this image, we can see how dark it is and there's so many areas that you're not able to color in. So what we need to do is click on the image, then go to the adjust settings, and then we need to increase the contrast and you can see how image really starts to change. Now I usually leave this on roughly around 70 depending on the image and then you can slightly increase the brightness just to get rid of more darker areas. So I quickly downloaded the image and now we can compare both images and you can see the massive difference between the coloring pages. And again, this is gonna provide the customer with a much better experience as they're going to be able to color in all the parts that they need to now unlike in the other image. So just take the time to adjust the settings correctly and make sure you do the same with all of your darker images. So thanks for watching another video. Let me know your thoughts, whether you agree or disagree with the points made. My main focus is to help you guys to create better coloring books that will actually help you get sales on Amazon and not cause you to run into the same traps as everyone else or risk losing your account. But just make sure you take your time to familiarize yourself with the content guidelines. I will leave any useful links and information in the description for you to go over. And if there's anything you don't understand or you have any questions, let me know. Or if there's any specific video you'd like to see in my next upcoming videos, then let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.